Pop Pop was getting an earful about his past. You want to know why I slept with the lights on? Because you took me to see Psycho when I was nine. You owe me $17 for a lifetime of showering with the curtain wide open. Uh, you want a message? I'll give you a message. I'll give you a big fat message in your big fat ears. You think someone's going to come after you in the shower? Believe me, you have nothing anyone wants to see. Fine. You want to talk? Let's talk! And so began the great Goldberg answering machine war of 1980-something. And you were so god-awful that none of my friends ever wanted to come over and play with me! Friends? I had to pay the boy next door to be friends with you, so you owe me a nickel for that, too. What began as one simple call from Pop Pop quickly spiraled into an endless volley of very hurtful rants. There! I said it! You're a crappy dad and even a worse businessman! You think I'm implying your disappointment? No, no, I'm saying it loud and clear. Yeah. Disappointment. Again with the Fakakta machine. I know. He's been tying up the phone line, and I can't get any of my messages. What? No, I meant your dad and Pop Pop might be doing serious damage to their relationship. Oh, please, they're fine. You are a trash heap of a human being and even a worse father. He meant that with love. Oh, crap, this went bad fast. It had been a week since the great Goldberg answering machine war, and my sister was tired of not getting any of her messages. Tape full. My God, this thing between Dad and Pop-Up has got to stop. Messages deleted. Acting on her standard selfishness, Erica decided to erase Pop-Pop and end the war. Hey, I'm home. Nobody bother me. I need to check my messages. No new messages. Hey, anyone call for me? You know, like a telemarketer? Wrong number? Angry grandfather? Nope. Okay. Good. Yep. Very good. Guess there's no reason to type the phone lines now. Yep. I mean, no call from Pop-Pop means you don't have to pay him the $17. Yep, yep, yep. You won. I won. Yep. Big winner. You won. Murray wins. And that is how you end an answering machine war. Well, I guess it is best for your father's sanity. Sure, sure, that thing. Also, I finally get to use the phone again. Hey! What do you think you're doing, you moron? Making a phone call. Yeah, the machine is expecting a call. No one goes near this or stands in this area. Out! Okay, why the hell isn't he taking the win? It's like he wants Pop-Pop to call and rant at him. Crazy as it sounds, I think your dad actually liked chatting with Pop-Pop through the machine, and now that it's done, he's sad. That's nuts. Dad doesn't get sad. No new messages. No new messages. My God, he's sad. No new messages. Fine, you made your point. We'll get them together and end this once and for all. No new messages.